Blanca, abuelita Blanca, my mom. <laughs> and today uh, we are going to show you how she makes the best tortillas in the world. They're flour tortillas, tortillas de harina. I learned from my mama and she learned it from her grandmother. She started making tortillas when she was around 10 years old. So she's a pro at making tortillas. And I hope you like this video and you can learn the same way I learned. And, and, and we are going to start. So we are going to use un kilo uh, de harina. So two pounds in Spanish is un kilo. All right. And we are going to use some um, shortening sticks. I like this brand, Crisco. So we are going to get only one. And it, this is one cup of uh, vegetable shortening. You can also use um, butter. You add some, oh, okay. See. some salt so and water. water. Now we, I'm gonna pass you to the expert and I'm gonna be translating. She's gonna tell you in Spanish and I can translate in English, all right? Voy a utilizar un kilo de harina y una taza de, de, de manteca vegetal y dos cucharaditas de sal, ok, y media de agua. Ok, for the water, uh, we never, my mom, she never measured the water, she always used this, <laughs> this cup to heat it, because she wants hot water. So let's measure how many cups there's in here. One, two, okay. three, Ok. El agua uh, tiene que estar bien caliente que hierva para que queden bien las tortillas. So she's saying that we have to heat the water until it's boiling. So she added un, el kilo de harina. Es una. Y dos. Bueno. Tres. Ok. So about three teaspoons. Voy a revolver todo y amasarlo. So she added the cup of um, churning, uh, manteca vegetal, and she's gonna mix it. So she says that uh, she's gonna make like a medium size tortillas, and let's see, but she always uh, makes like between 40, 45 or so. But when my sister was smaller, uh, she used to make 100 tortillas out of one kilo, like a very tiny flour tortillas. So my sister used to sell tacos at her school uh, to help us and that's... Uh, so she can make tortillas any size, from very very small to very very big. So now the water is hot and she's gonna add it. And she's going to mix with a spoon. Okay, she added about the three cups of, uh, of water. The dough is hot. So she's going to mix with a spoon. Yes, yeah, so the, the dough is hot. So she's going to wait a little bit until she can handle, so she can start rolling with her hand. So she's going to be rolling little by little until she can hold it because it's, it's hot. We typically never measure anything, uh, so we cook by, by feeling. Now she's ready to pass the, um, the flour to the counter. So she cleaned the counter so she can put the flour in there. Okay, so she transferred everything to the counter and she's gonna keep rolling the dough, the hot dough, until it's very well uh, mixed. We are from Monterrey, 
and Monterrey is the northern part of Mexico and we um, traditionally we eat more flour tortillas than corn tortillas so she's gonna be making small discs and she grabs a, a, a piece of dough she always makes them the same size so she goes around she measures to see if the dough is in her in the in the hand That's how you roll it. Yeah. Okay. Circle. Okay. She mm -hmm. makes it, Below. and then she press the bottom mm -hmm. to make a disc. Okay. You can again make it smaller or larger, depends on on your taste. But she always measures on the palm of her hand, and then she. She pushes them until she gets the, the disc. The feeling of the dough is like a um, stretchy dough, but not that stretchy, as you can see. Uh, it breaks, but it feels like, um, like a play dough. I always feel like when I make corn tortillas, it's the same feeling, but this is like a softer play-doh. So you go around, you wanna keep mixing it, and you go around, so, and then she presses until you have a disc. So as you can see, my mom keeps rolling and rolling and rolling, so she's almost done rolling on uh, all the tortillas. Uh, as you can see, she's very fast. But at this point, we are going to to heat the griddle. Uh, she uses medium fire, a, yes, a, a, a medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. For this use, it's better to use a rolling pin uh, that it's silicone, as the one that my mom is using. But you can also use um, a wooden one, not the marble ones because those are very heavy. Uh, so we recommend uh, something that is not heavy. Uh, preferably plastic and in this case this is a, a roll, um, silicone roll. Okay, so now we have the hot griddle. El comal caliente. How many times do you like to flip them, mommy? Uh, three. So she flips them three times. <laughs> so you can see the, the, the color is like a, like a golden uh, color, and like a golden bubbles. And she's almost done with the tortillas. Look at this. They look so delicious. As you can see, these are the raw tortillas. These are the cooked ones. The secret ingredient is always love. Put a lot of love into your food and it will taste amazing. Okay, so now my mommy is done with all these amazing tortillas. I hope you can make them at home and enjoy them and think about us, las norteñas. Buen, Buen provecho! <laughs> okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Stay tuned and, and subscribe. Bye!